Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas, day 45. It's truly just the first week of Vlogmas, but boy, this is a lot of work. <laughs> but I'm happy to be doing it, I'm happy to be here. And to be quite frank with you, life is a little bit heavy right now for me. If you saw yesterday's video, I think it was yesterday's, I'm getting them all kind of mushed together, but I'm dealing with some family stuff um, and you know, it kind of goes in ways in terms of emotions. This is all to say, I feel inspired to continue to find the joy in the days and to share that with you. So today is one of those days you clicked on the video. I'm going to assume that I titled it something clever that also gives you a good indication about what you were about to dive into. Today, I am going to do some Christmas online shopping and I would love for you to join me. I'm also having a cocktail because it's been that kind of week for the last two years. Um, by the way, today I went to get some blood work done. I haven't gotten like a proper checkup in, I would say it's been like two plus years. You should do that every year. I did not do that. I am definitely afraid of needles. I don't like medical stuff. I put it off. I have a fantastic doctor, however. So finally I went today and when I was in there, I was like, um, while you're doing this, would you mind just doing like a little more of an extensive liver blood work situation just to make sure we're cool? You know what I mean? It's been a tough few years. All right. Anyways, this is all to say, um, if you guys didn't know, I am a god mommy to many a children. I have five god babies who I love so very much and who I feel a lot of pride in being asked to be the role of fairy godmother to them. I also have four additional children who um, call me auntie. And so in theory, I have, that's math, three, nine children to buy holiday gifts for. And I am feeling so overwhelmed by the task. Not only is that a little bit like financially taxing, which, you know what, if I'm gonna buy gifts for anyone, I want it to be the children. I think this is gonna be magical and I'm happy to do it. Um, but I'm also trying to be financially responsible and I'm also trying not to just like fill their lives with stuff for the sake of stuff. Guys, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I have a lot of feelings around holiday gifting. I. Um, I get it, I know that it's magical and it's wonderful and I love giving gifts, I love it, but I'm more of the like, if I see something that reminds me of you, no matter what time of year it is, that's when I like to gift someone, as opposed to being like, I have to get a gift on this holiday for this person, it starts to feel a little bit like disingenuine, disingenuine, it feels a little like, I don't know, my family and I, we don't really give gifts on the holiday. We've just sort of decided that. We'd rather like just have experiences with one another. Everyone does it a little bit different, but I will say kids deserve magic and magical holidays. And um, I am honored and excited to be a part of that. I feel like I'm blabbering. So anyways, I thought it would be fun for you to dive into my computer with me and we can kind of just like check out what our options are in terms of gifts. I talked to my three god babies in Florida. They wrote letters to Santa, so I got a little bit of insight into like what they're into. Their dad usually sends me links and he's wonderful in terms of like, you know, sending me links that are um, affordable and things that the kids are gonna be excited to get. I have learned over the years, and maybe some parents out there know this, um, that kids, it's not so much about like how much you spend or how big the gift is. It's really just about opening something. So um, I'm going to try to be mindful with my pocketbook and find either things that are like, you know, $20 or under per kid, which I feel like is reasonable or, or is from a small business. Again, these are all like pipe dreams. I feel like I'm gonna end up spending way more and getting it all on Amazon, but we're gonna try our best. So, you know, let's give this a go. I'm doing laundry and Jeff is working out in the background. So if it's loud, thank you for understanding. This is life. <laughs> okay, great. So um, the first thing that I wanted to look up 
none of this is sponsored just so you know but i did want to look up kiwico um i feel like i've seen or heard many ads for this on like every podcast and most of my god babies they range we have oh god two to ten year olds okay we have a two year old all the way up to a ten year old and i will say i think that um, a lot of them are super creative i like to think that they're all really smart and a little advanced for their age so i'd love to give them some like hands-on crafty type things to do so it's not just like an item it's actually just like an activity so I've heard about KiwiCo and basically I think it's a subscription, but I think it's like a DIY type of thing. So here we are. Um, all right, how, how it works. Pick a line, we offer projects for every age and interest. I should be sponsored by this right now because I feel like they sponsor literally everyone, but here we are. Um, they deliver it monthly and it's so much fun. All right, I'm gonna do it by gift. Ooh, this looks cool. A domino machine. I want to see how much this stuff costs. Okay. Um, all right, let's do it by age. So my oldest is 10 and they are very, very smart and very hands-on creative. So let's see. Yummy crate, geography and culture, doodle crate, tinker crate. Let's go by price. <laughs> I don't mean to sound like so cheap. It's just like, honestly, it's been a hard couple of years. I'm sure all of you are feeling that. And um, I just am trying to be a little bit more mindful. I feel like in the past, I've just been like, yeah, spend whatever. And then I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? I just had a wedding and I need to be a little bit more uh, responsible. So I'm learning too. I'm growing up and trying to figure out life. <sighs> All right, so individual crates, or individual gifts is what I think I should do because you could definitely do like a full subscription, but I think I'm just gonna do one box for now. Oh, this is great. You can make your own bath bombs? This is wonderful. Okay, dip your toes into bubbly bath time chemistry with animal-shaped bath bombs you make yourself. I love this. How old are you supposed to be for this? 38. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. I feel like all the kids will love this, age five and above. Ooh, 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 ooh. I feel inspired by this. Let's see what else there is. We could do like a Christmas theme, but I feel like by the time they get it, Christmas is gonna be like Christmas, so. Okay, I gotta say that this is actually like kind of encouraging. I thought this was gonna be so much more expensive, but it looks like everything sort of ranges from $12.95 up to let's say like 20. Oh, wait a second. I just saw something that I felt excited by. So I got a five-year-old, I got a few five-year-olds in the mix. A chemistry play lab. Okay, that's $39.95 and I am not surprised. Okay. I'm gonna move on because I feel like I could do this forever, but I'm feeling inspired that perhaps KiwiCo is the way to go. I wonder if I can get a discount if I buy a bunch of stuff. Really fast. I did see a superhero cape and we have a few superhero fans in the mix. We've got a Levi superhero and we have got a Harrison superhero. This is pretty cool. You can make your own cape. I'm feeling like I want this. I think this is the greatest gift of all times. I'm gonna leave this open because I'm feeling pretty inspired by this. Can you guys hear Jeff working out? Literally, I'm drinking a cocktail while he works out and that's the story of our life. So my oldest god babe, um, they love this YouTuber that I'm unfamiliar with even though I think that they're huge and they do characters or they have characters. They basically have a line of, you guys are gonna be laughing at me because I feel like you all know who I'm talking about, but they have a dinosaur, they have, let me look it up. Myra Elizabeth, everybody, do we know who Myra Elizabeth is? Elizabeth, Myra Elizabeth apparently is brilliant and God bless. Myra Elizabeth has all of these characters that she has created and my eldest god baby is obsessed with them. 
Are we familiar? Also, thank you guys for doing this with me. I feel like this is so random, but I'm appreciating <laughs> you. Okay, yes, this pickle plushie. Oh my God, Alex loves this pickle thing. Damn, 30 bucks? All right, well, Alex was talking about a phone case. Oh, I'm excited about a phone case. No, it was like a, a mug that, do you guys remember being preteens and just like how excited you get over like the smallest of things? So this is, Alex was talking about a mug that it looks like one thing at first, but then when you pour hot water in, it looks like something else. And so I'm interested to see if that is on this list. This is brilliant. So apparently this isn't even like a cartoon. It's just straight up characters for merchandise. <sighs> Myra is killing it. This is brilliant. Oh, this is cute. Oh my God. I'm legit into this. That's cute. Let me write a mug and see if it comes up. A mug. What do I do? <laughs> I've hit a snag in the road. I thought I knew what I wanted to get. Shoot. Okay. Let's see. Um, kind of want to go for the phone case. I think I've got a hat on here. Shoot. Okay. I got to come back to this. My Ella lady is really into Minecraft. She's in fourth grade and I knew nothing about Minecraft, but she's like super girly, but also loves Minecraft. Um, and so I wanted to find her like some sort of like a fun, like headband, like Minecraft situation. Guys, I knew literally nothing about Minecraft. Uh, by the way, like I'm not gonna probably buy anything tonight. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the links below. And also I might start sourcing some like gift lists once I like figure it all out. So follow me on Instagram and I will have those links and maybe some links below as well. All right, so here's the Minecraft stuff. Oh, I just don't understand it. This is a nightmare. I'm not good at this. I really should just have their parents send me links, but I really wanted to try, <laughs> to try to be cool. I wanted to be cool god mommy and be like, I get it, I know it's hip and cool. I could buy one of these, but I'm truly unclear as to like what any of this means. Can you help me? <laughs> Please help me. Um, what is a good gift? If you're a parent, God bless. I feel like this is a huge task for all you aunties, godparents, uh, I feel like it's almost a huger task because we want to be the cool auntie, that we want to be a cool godparent, and we just don't know how. Oh, you know what we should do? Coolest gifts to give kids 2021. That's such an old, old ass bitch. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, you know what? Not sponsored, but I love this website, Uncommon Goods. My problem is that this website is kind of expensive. It's not if you just have to buy like one gift for a child, but I have so many kids to buy gifts for that um, I don't think I can do like 40 bucks a gift, but look at all their fun stuff. Unicorn potions kit, that sounds fun. Build your own robot? Should I get all the kids to build their own robots? I love that. Okay, maybe there's some options here. Ooh, I love a flip book. That seems hard though. A monster spray, come on. 60 ultimate gifts for kids to buy in 2021. How much time do you guys have? How many ads will I put in this video? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this is sick. A moon lamp, that seems cool. For kids who don't want toys. Oh, Jack, you what? might not want to come in because I'm recording right now and you're in your undies, but boy, do you look sexy. Thanks, man. I'm looking for gifts for the god babies. What did you want as a kid? G.I. Joe! That's what I'm thinking. The problem is that we have so many god babies to buy for that I can't spend a lot. Give them some extra leftover wedding shit. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I feel like one of our babes would love this. She loves Frozen. I'm trying to do $20 or below per child. There's so many of them. A sewing kit for children. Oh. Put them to work. Get ready for school. Learning desk. Oh. A Geo Safari Junior Talking Microscope. Don't be the person who gets learning gifts. 
I know. Well guys, lesson here is that I shouldn't have so many godchildren. <laughs> also, I know nothing about children other than I love them, but I just don't know what to get them. Who are you uh, talking about? Which one? All of them. I'm looking, I'm looking. Name. Well, I'm looking for Alex and they like, like they're 10 and they like cool stuff, but they're also very smart. But then I'm looking for like Milo and Milo is also very smart. I don't know. I got Milo Mario Party for his birthday. You did. That's a gift good enough for like the next six holidays. Maybe we should have put that on the card for his birthday, be like, this also counts as your Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year's card. Shit. I saw like a build your own like superhero cape. That's kind of fun, right? That sounds like something. A build your own superhero cape is just a fancy marketing way. Of Guys, the lesson cape. here is don't let me run any of these ideas by Jeff. But if you have any ideas for what we should get all of our children, uh, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, man, I keep it real. That's what I do. <laughs> I keep it super real. And honestly, I don't know if we can have kids because we just can't afford to any more kids. I have all the old lady. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for going on this journey. You know, here we go. Every day is a new journey with us. I appreciate you greatly. And uh, stay tuned. I, I will give you updates if I find anything as I'm like deeply searching. I feel like there's so many robots and things. Oh my God, this looks so fun. Oh my God, this looks so fun. I might buy some of these things for myself. So, there you go. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You know, it's not a bad idea.